One of the most interesting things After Effects users told us everywhere was that they used 3D in conjunction with After Effects. With this version, we partnered with Maxon, one of the leading vendors of 3D tools, to do an unprecedented integration between After Effects and Cinema 4D. In this scene, we've got a CG element extending the set, and we're also going to be manipulating some objects directly in the scene without rendering anything between After Effects and Cinema 4D. I've got some scaffolding that extends the signage and TV screens above the ramp. So I'm going to go over to that composition, extract the 3D information from the Cinema 4D file, and I can tell the After Effects Cineware plugin to manipulate the camera right within After Effects. This is not 2D imagery that's being laid out in 2.5D space. This is real 3D inside of After Effects. In the next part of this scene, we've got a skateboard that comes in as an object, but at the same time we're adding some motion graphics elements from Cinema 4D. I can go in to the skateboard itself. Again, this is not an image sequence. This is not rendered from Cinema 4D. And make changes to this 3D model directly from within After Effects or to be able to edit original and go to the included and fully licensed version of Cinema 4D to light that's now included with every installation of After Effects. I'm just going to change the texture of the arrow. I want that to be red. And by changing the element within Cinema 4D and hitting Save, when I jump back to After Effects, I haven't had to re-render anything. I haven't had to wait potentially hours for the rendered before I import it into the composite. What I've just shown are just a few of the features of the integration between After Effects and Maxon Cinema 4D. There's an entire multi-pass workflow amongst others that give you full creative control without the requirement to re-render as you move between the two applications.